Now we have our menu screen, it's time to add some content to these menu options so that our user can click through um, and you know, learn a little bit about the Earth, Saturn and any of the other options that you decide to give. So if I click Earth and choose Navigate, or a quick tip, if I click back, if I double click, it will come through. Now here we go, so this is a, a standard screen, which is, which is, there's no content on there at the moment. It says a new text item here, which we can edit, but I'm actually going to click on that and click delete. If you forget to click delete, when you actually go to export your app, you know, the, your users are going to be able to see that bit, that item. So we've got a blank screen here. First things first, let's add a nice image. So I'm going to click image here. Here's a standard image that they've got. You are able to go onto the internet, um, find a, a, a suitable image, uh, save that to your computer and upload it. Again, remembering that if you were going to use this for commercial uses, you'd have to get permission off the owner of the image. But I've actually already uploaded one, and I believe it's this here. So I'm going to click select and save. Here we go. So we have a nice image here of Earth. That's fantastic, but we need to add um, some, some textual content there as well. Now, if you're going to have some textual content, you can by all means go on, um, go and do some research, but please don't, don't copy and paste the information you find. Put it in your own words. Now, you don't have to have too much information because people might get bored, but I'm just going to, for the purposes of this tutorial, just have um, just have a short paragraph for the time being. And there's some options up here, and I'm actually going to choose styled text. So when I click on here, it'll give it enables you to basically style your text. So you can add, um, you can embolden it, make it um, italic. So I'm going to delete this, and I've actually got some text um, that I've already produced. So once I've got that, I'm going to click save. And there we go. So at the moment, we've got an image, we have some textual content for our user to, to read and learn from. It might not always just be appropriate to say, here we go, here's some text. We might want them to do some independent learning uh, and we could send them to a website. So under here it says add new item. I'm actually going to add new item down here and change the title of this. So I'm going to change this to, um, let's say, um, Earth Information. You can do whatever you like. You can have a, um, a suitable bit of text. So click here to find out more information. Now what I want to do here is I, I want to actually change the action. And of course you can change your image as well, see if I've got an image that we can use. Um, I may very well actually just use this um, this globe image again, um, just for the time being. So I'm going to click action. I actually want to send the user to a website. There are so many different options here. You can um, send them to a Twitter feed. You can add a YouTube video. Just a number, which would be good to play around with. But for this, I'm going to add a link to a website. And the website is this one here. It's a National Geographic website. The best thing to do is highlight your URL, copy it, and down here, oops, there we go, I can then add the address here. Once I've done that, um, there are a number of options here. I'll just leave it for normal for the time being. I'm going to click Save. There we go. So here's our first page, we've got the Earth, we've got an image of the Earth down here. If I scroll down, it gives the user an option to click on this. And when you click on it, if I double click to it, it will take you then to, um, to that web address. Now, if you're using it on a smartphone, it's, uh, it will automatically take you to the mobile um, version of that site if there is one available. So let's go back. So here we go, so there we go, there's that. Um, you could as well, if I wanted to add another item, once this is loaded, I can then give it another title. So let's call it Earth Video. You can be a bit more creative about it if you like. Subtitle would be 
um, a video about the earth. And again, I'm going to come up here, change the action, and it's standard screen at the moment. It's going to send it to a standard screen, but instead, I would quite like it to be a YouTube video. So there we go. My YouTube video is here. So I'm going to copy the address, paste it in, and click Save. So now we've got a, uh, an image, some textual information, website, and of course you can add a... Um, an icon there if you want, double click and it then takes me to um, the video that I've just embedded in there. So fantastic. So basically what you're doing is you're giving the user a variety of different resources to learn from. And again, you can do exactly the same thing with your um, your second menu option, um, which I've got Saturn, but you know, depending on what your subject is will depend on what you have. So. The next tutorial, we're going to cover actually creating a quiz.